<laughs> what is up, people? What is up? Welcome on this. What day? What what day? I think it's Sunday, isn't it? Man, in my life, I don't count days. I don't do it. Um, administration first, of course. Wait. How is everybody doing? Did somebody watch the World Cup today? Who was playing? Who was playing today? I don't know. Let me know. Teach me everything. All right. Uh, let the world know. Or let the world know that the army, the club of the high-value software engineers, are coming together in this very important meeting on this Sunday evening. Very important meeting. Everybody is watching Netflix. Everybody is sitting in the couch with a blanket, popping the pringles. You know what I mean? With the dips, with the with the GF or the boyfriend, nice and cozy. But we don't do that shit. We are the high value engineers. We we don't got time for that stuff, right? Although sometimes we need to do that. That's true. Boom. Tweet tweet it out. Ice bear, what is up, man? Welcome. Web Dev Course TV. I think it's Mark. Mark with the gang. He's going to take a day off and he's going to chill. He's going to walk the doggies, get some coffee, blaze a bowl. <laughs> yeah, he's blazing bowl, that's for sure. <laughs> this guy. Is this guy even sober sometimes? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. But hey, it doesn't matter, man. Although it's it's dopamine, it's not serotonin, serotonin, whatever that, that word is. On my channel, you get that. True happiness. Look at this, my vein, what's going on? Look at this. What's going on? It's too much information inside my brain. It's exploding. What the fuck is this? Man, if I die, remember me. All right, so not normally today I want to do uh, code reviews, but I don't have enough reviews, not enough code to review. That's the problem. So then we do decentralized poker. What is this sound, man? Too loud in my ears. So we're going to do the decentralized poker. Um, and maybe later this week, if I have enough. So if you want your code to be reviewed, if you want to... Um, if you want me to review your code and I will do live adjustments, a live refactor of your code and give you some hints and tips, let me know. DM, DM me, DM me your link, your GitHub link and I will fix it. Review mine. I did already, Ice Bear. I did already. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let, me, let me put myself uh, where I belong, in the top right. And the girls are back. Have a good time. Find your love. I already did. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, um, what do we need? A server. And we need game state. And then we need a make run to see what's going on. Don't know how to use Git. Ice Bear, that's an X on the list. It's very important to use Git because everybody is doing it and it's legit. All right, so basically, um, a little recap. There's a lot of things wrong because we were already in a, f in a, in a pretty decent stage of the poker game until we um, came across some potential issues, some potential scaling issues with the player list. Um, and we, with my boy Amir, we decided to rewrite the way we get the players and all and everything. And it's good, but it's not good because now we are basically have a setback, right? It's engineering cycle, right? You have a peak of development, you come into issues, you go back a little bit down and then you go up and you know, you know, and that's the peak. If you if you start a project, you peak, you get dopamine, right? Dopamine in your brain, and you want to go, 
and then you come across a setback, right? It's, it's getting complicated. You know what I mean? It's getting complicated and you go down and that's where you quit. That's where you quit your projects. That's why you have 10,000 projects and nobody is using one of them because they're not complete because you don't crawl out of that, out of that fallback, right? And now we are crawling out of that fallback. You know what I mean? You're crawling out of it because we are high value software engineers. Did you go to college? No, man, <laughs> I did not go to college. I'm going to tell you something. And I, I said it before on stream. When I was in, how do you call that? Middle school? Just a normal school. I think I was, I was 12 years old or something. And my uh, teacher, she told me, she, Jeffrey Willard, Mrs. Willard. I will never forget her. And she told me that I was a shame for my parents. I was a shame for my parents and I would not make it in my life. I was a nonce. <laughs> Who is the nonce now? Who is the nonce now? College is not good because you waste your time there. It's a very unpopular opinion. But yeah. All right, so. Well, you don't waste your time there. It's, it's a good time, right? It's a good time, but you don't need it. You don't need it because life functions in a complete different way, right? If you have college degree, CS, computer science, you come to your job and you will choke because you don't know shit. That's the problem because there is a, a big difference between, there is a big difference between the theory, the theoretical explanation of how things work and how things work in the real life because they, they work completely different. You know what I mean? They work completely different. But it's very good to have it because you have a good basics and you have a discipline because you, you, you study it and such. So that's good. It's good to have, but it's not rec recommended. Required. It's not required. All right. There are a lot of problems here in this thing. Um, first of all, let me make run again so we can see there is getting dealt to too much. Uh, I went to college, did mechanical engineering, and then robotics. For the most part, I agree. Only good thing is it makes you stay motivated. It's true. Um, yeah, I, I studied just normal school, and I have a, a, a simple a simple degree, electromechanics. And I, the only thing I can do is change a light bulb. You know what I mean? Electromechanics. Yes. In my country, it's called an H2, an H2 degree. Which is good to, it's good to have. It's not too high, it's not too low. You can go to study with that and, and it's, it's all fine. But yeah. So we can see, right? Each time we call this 3000 is basically the dealer calling this initial uh, shuffle thingy. Let, let us search for this, initiate. Where is this thing? Init. Yes, this one, right? Each time we call initiate shuffle and deal, we're gonna deal. And it's too much. And also, this player list needs to be the stable. I wanna I wanna not log it out anymore. It's too much going on. I'm gonna delete this guy. No logging. Victor Gidu Gidi, what's up man? Welcome. Welcome to this beautiful Sunday evening. Doing some decentralized poker stuff. Normally I want to review code, but I don't have code enough to fill the stream with goodness. What's this? Get other players. Uh, comment it out. Let's delete this. Clean some, some stuff up. As we, if, if we go. As we go. Set player ready. Uh, there are a couple things wrong. And I want to... It's the set ready thing. Set ready. Table pos, yada yada, but it's think set play ready. This one. Yes, this, this one. So what we're gonna do is basically, um, 
each time we set the player ready, let me open up main. So we have an HTTP server which can handle JSON requests, so we can control the game from a UI later on. Uh, oh, what, what is this? We are setting 3457, and then we have 5 again. What's going on? QC. Do you think there are still opportunities to make money with crypto arbitrage bots? Yes. I was thinking making one. It's worth, but uh, arbitrage bots, you need to have... You need to make sure you have... Um, you do it with low cap coins. Because there's too much competition in these major uh, coins. Even in altcoins. And you also need to make sure you do it on exchanges that provide you with a good bonus. With a good liquidity incentive bonus, right? Especially these... Uh, that's why back in the day it was much easier because all these exchanges were booting up, right? They came as mushrooms out of the ground and um, it was hard for these new small exchanges to get market makers, decent market makers. So they, what they did was basically, um, especially for these shit coins, right? What they did was basically they uh, invented, not invented, they uh, arranged, so, uh, arranged or organized in uh, liquidity incentive programs. So they would pay you an amount extra uh, for the liquidity you provided at a certain point of time over over a certain point of time that was nice right you could take the maker fees taker fees you could take the liquidity incentive program and then you have this arbitrage opportunity with these low cap coins where you could spot opportunities and rake in of course you're not going to be rich with that overnight because that doesn't happen right you will never get rich overnight not over a week not over a month not over a year that's all scam um that doesn't happen unless you play the lottery, which is basically gambling and gambling will is bad. It's bad news. <coughs> what about arbitrage trading between centralized and yeah, that's also an opportunity. But the problem is that um, the execution of these decentralized changes is slow. So Normally, if you spot an opportunity, you need to be fast, right? Opportunity, boom. And then you 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 do your trade. But if you do it between centralized and decentralized, you have some settlement time. Unless you don't have... Wait. No, not really, actually. It, it could work. It could work because you could have everything set up and then it's just a swap. Could work. Depends on, on what, kind of, what kind of pairs you want to do that. Okay, these guys, fine. The problem is here, uh, each time we set the player ready, everybody's gonna wait 14 seconds, right? Because we don't check uh, if you are the dealer here. This is a big problem. So what we're gonna say is basically... This, okay, I don't like it. We're gonna say, are we dealers? Uh, I'm gonna say, oh, are we dealer like this? And if you are the dealer, you're gonna initiate shuffle and deal. You're gonna change this to funk G game. Maybe deal. My hands are cold, man. What's this? It's always the same thing in this house here. God damn it. Maybe deal. It's a, it's a weird functioning, I know, I know, I know. But it's gonna do exactly what it's, what it's telling, maybe deal. Um, so we're gonna spin up, if we are the dealer, we're gonna actually spin up a new Goro team. Uh, what's going on? So cold my hands, cannot even press uh, things. We're gonna spin up a new Goro team like this, we're gonna paste this in here real quick. Clear the highlights, and then we're gonna say here, time, sleep, uh, how many seconds do we want to sleep here? I don't know, maybe five. It's gonna be longer, it's gonna be longer, but if you need to test this, um, I don't want to wait 15 seconds each time, or 60 seconds. So basically what happens is, if there are enough players, right? So if there are enough players connected and, and pressed ready to join, then we're gonna 
check if you are the dealer. And if you are the dealer, then we are going to spin up a go routine, which basically going to wait. So uh, normally, if, if the game can start, we will wait another 60 seconds, one minute or something. I don't know, of 60 seconds, it doesn't really even matter how many seconds. X, X, N amount of seconds um, to actually start dealing, right? Something like that. Because if the game can start, then we're going to wait because maybe some players are still sipping their coffee, smoking a cigar. I don't know what they're doing, counting their money. Texting their GF, that's going to be late because you're going to play poker with the boys. So we're going to wait a couple time, a couple seconds until everybody is connected or not connected. Depends. And then we're going to start the game in another go routine. Because what we did here, we were blocking the set player ready for everyone, which was, I don't know what, what I was thinking um, at that time. But it's, it is really bad. And then we're going to say G, maybe deal. Right? But we... Yeah, that's that. It's not gonna fix it, but it's it's gonna be... It's gonna come close. It's gonna become close. It's, uh, it's, still, it's still dealing too much. But the thing is, something is wrong. I can feel it. Sometimes I know this program so well. Uh, I'm going to go to server, because I think we're doing that. Okay, see, this, this GoFunk is fine. Because you need to be careful, right? Uh, what we're doing here is we, we basically multiplex... A ch um, Mark, what is up, man? How was the, how was the dog walking? Walking the dogs. How was it? How was your bowl, by the way? So we're multiplexing this channel, basically, uh, in, in this four select group. The problem, the problem is um, that this broadcast, this broadcast is a problem because you need to understand that the cha that these, these select loops, they are basically blocking each other. It's very important to understand because a lot of people think that if they pipe in a channel, putting a channel and we're listening here, that we can and broadcast and add a peer and delete a peer and, and uh, receive a message and do shenanigans. That's not true. Unless we do it like we do it on a discovery channel. No. Unless we do it like, like this. If we put this back in a go function. In a go routine. Because if we receive a message here. Until this is complete. This case statement is complete. The processing is complete. Then we're going to fetch. We're going to multiplex another thing here. Handle another, and handle another channel. The problem is that this broadcast uh, need to do the same. So we're going to say... We're gonna do go func, wrap it in a function. Keyboard is uh, having a bad time. That's that, and then of course we need to check here. Um, if g if game status gonna be g current is it current status? Yes, current status. I think it's get because it's an atomic int. Value. Uh, it needs to be game status player ready. Player ready. Yes, this one. And then we're gonna deal. Because if we initiate shuffle and deal here, then we're gonna set our status here to game status dealing, which basically means that the next time we're gonna call this this function because it's gonna get called again. Where is this thing? What is this bad boy? God damn it. Uh, maybe deal. There's a lack, man. Lack in this, in this editor is crazy. Uh, maybe deal. I'm gonna get called a couple times, right? That's actually bad news. Pedro! What is up, man? 
KC, are market making and arbitrage the main ways people are using bots in crypto right now? The problem is, <laughs> listen, the the majority of the crypto, 90% that is in crypto have no clue what they are doing. They have legit no clue. They, have, they are on Twitter with their, with their, with their 500k followers, you know what I mean? But they are, they are, they are just, most of them are basically uh, 24 year old guys, boys with no face, just uh, an avatar. Um, assuming, how do you say this in, in English? Pretending they are a crypto god, pretending they are the trading god, which cannot be because trading is a complete scam and it will never work. Um, that's what they do. Of course, there are millionaires. That's true. There are, there are crypto millionaires. There are people in the beginning that invested has a good opportunity and yeah, you made a lot of money. That's true. But most of these people are not on Twitter. Right? They are sipping margaritas on the Bahamas. <clears throat> most of the people make no money in crypto, especially not with bots. All these bots are basically uh, simple algorithms um, based on trading indicators like RSI's, uh, EMAs, MAs, all that, all that stupid stuff, right? That's what they teach you on YouTube. If the EMA... If you're, if you're, if the price is above the EMA, you buy, and if it's below, you sell, yada, yada, yada. It, it doesn't work. You go wrecked, you know? You can make money with market making, but that involves, you need a lot of capital or a lot of time. It's very important. Because it's, you need to understand that the spread you're taking is low, right? You're not going to make 200 you're not gonna make 2,000, uh, 2K in, in a day, right? Unless you have big numbers to play with. Am I in timeout? Uh, I don't know what's happened, but uh, Mark, uh, Nightbot is a very... Very tight. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot come up words. It's very tight, uh, it's very tight settings. I think if you play six emotes at the uh, next to each other, you're gonna get you're gonna get wrecked. Um, yeah, I don't know. Nightbot, it's crazy. And by the way, uh, two two streams ago, there were these guys coming. They were raiding my channel. I think it were Russian people, which is fine. Um, but they were talking. I don't know. They were talking Russian, so I had no clue. And Nightbot, they they do nothing. You know what I mean? Nightbot is. And then you have Ice Bear, which is a true loyal member member of the club. He's getting banned all the time, time out all the time. I don't know why. This guy is legit doing nothing, nothing wrong. Anyway, maybe deal. Um, G initiate shuffle and deal. That should be good. Let's make run. And let's see what's going on here. Normally it's it's six emotes. I changed. I changed it. Normally you can do six emotes, so you can. Maybe if you paste a link or something, I have no clue. Everybody's pretty flop. And only one deal. Look at this, we already fixed it, right? So everybody's doing a handshake, right? They're doing a handshake. Shaking hands. Then 3000 is gonna deal cards. Everybody's gonna do the, the, the card dealing round trip, right? So everybody, Deals and shuffles, uh, deals, no, shuffle, encrypt, deals, shuffle, encrypt, deals to each other. Right, let me see, deal to player five. What is this? Yes, yes, so we received from 3,000, 3 or 4,000, we're gonna deal to this guy. Yes, yes, and then, yes. Can Not quite sure why Nightbot banned you, uh, Mark. No, no idea. Although I, sometimes he's banning people, time, timing out, and sometimes he's just doing nothing at all. Uh, yes. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, a, I'm gonna quit, quickly do this. Get, uh, I'm gonna add a shebang. I'm gonna commit this real quick. Uh, fixed. Dealing round trip. And call it a day, right?
No. What's this, man? <laughs> Magic Eagle! <laughs> Magic Eagle, uh, what is up? Web Dev Courses TV came to hang out a bit and to show support for the homie Anthony GG. What is up, man? Welcome here. Of course, everybody from Mark's gang is, of course, welcome here because Mark is actually a little bit the same, although not the same as me. But he is... How do you say this? We are the Jesus of programming, man. You know what I mean? Jesus, a lot of people are Christian, but a lot of people don't know who Jesus was. But Jesus was a rascal. I trust Jesus. Jesus was an... He was a madman. You know what I mean? And he killed him. Because he was telling the truth. They cancelled him. Although I'm not... I'm actually not a Christian, to be honest. But, um... Uh, we're spitting facts, man. Me and my boy Mark, we are spitting the facts. All the rest... All the rest trying to scam you, right? We don't. Okay, the next thing I want to try actually is uh, to place bets and fault and all that stuff, right? Let's see what what's going on here. Uh, so we're gonna... Let's try to fault one, right? Why is this five seconds? What's going on here? Two seconds is fine. So normally we do this with postman, but I was tired, so we, we do it programmatically in a loop. So right now, I think um, 4,001 is going to fault. And I don't think he can. Yes, he can, he can, he can. All right, everybody received that there is a, a fault from, from 4,000. That's fine. The next thing I want to... I want to test is basically if um, normally 5,000 cannot fault because we have a table, right? We have a table and we have 3,000 on the table, which is the... Um, this guy is the dealer, right? And then we have 4,000, which is going to be the BB. That's not true. It's going to be the small B. It's going to be the small B, the small blind. Correct me if I'm wrong. Then we have 5,000, which is be the BB. And then we have uh, 7,000, which is going to be nobody. Right, this is our table, right? And 3,000 is the dealer. Because uh, if we boot up a fresh state, we're going we're gonna to sort all the guys because they, they, will, they will come in, in in a decentralized distributed way, in an asynchronous way, so we cannot determine who is connected first. So we're going to sort these addresses, right? And then we're going to assume that the, the lowest one is going to be the dealer at first. So it's 3,000. So basically, 4,000 needs to, needs to make the next move, right? 5,000 cannot, cannot make the next move. 7,000 can also not make the next move. It needs to be 4,000. So now I want to quickly test if, if 5,000 can do it. Normally, he can't. And I was already in, in, encoded and, and everything. But uh, like I said, we had a little setback. Buffer, what is up, man? Welcome back. The buffer always makes me happy. Kronborg, what is up? Where's my error? But it worked, right? Because we don't have this uh, thing. We didn't have a... Uh, a status. Can we fault? I'm gonna I'm gonna let everybody fault for some reason so we can see if we can make the the next trip, right? So this is pre flop. <coughs> This is pre-flop. <clears throat> if everybody faults, we need to go to flop. Wicked blackjack. Come on, send message. Come on.
Shit, we forgot one. Look at this, man. Needs to be 4001. Make run. Mark, I love the strangeness and new thinking of go. Um, new thinking is is it's it's. I I think. Go feels just like another like every other programming language, right? It's just so minimalistic. It's very minimalistic. There is nothing much you can do with it. Well, you can do everything with it, but it's. Like in Rust, you can literally call on a vec. You can call whatever you want. Map, reduce, posi you, you, you can do anything. It's crazy. It's like the whole fucking Bible. You need to understand to know what this vector can do. In Golang, you don't have that. You, just a, you have just a slice. And if you want to get some index, you will need to make a loop yourself and fetch it and all that stuff. Which makes it a little bit... You need to do a little bit more boilerplate. But everybody will understand your code. Right, that's the, that's that's the thing, and that's why Go scales so hard in big companies and in open source. Because what is important in open source and what is important in big companies, it's important that new coders or basically coders that are not experienced with a certain language can come in, can read, and can write. That's that's the most important thing, and that's why Go scales that well. Yes, what, what's going on? We, we are in flop. It's so amazing. I thought we had a big, big, big setback, but it isn't. Receive player action. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody's folding. We are in flop. That's crazy. That's legit crazy. <clears throat> KC, I want to make a trading bot. Oh, what's going on? I'm dying. <coughs> <coughs> Guys, take, take an eye on me, man. Keep an eye on me. KC, I want to make a trading bot of some sorts. Whether it's an arbitrage bot, a man bot, or something else, it doesn't have to make boatloads of money, but just wants something that I can continually improve. That's a good thing. I'm actually having a series. On my, you probably already saw that. It's not complete yet because uh, I don't know why, but people really don't interest it much in, in, in that trading stuff. Or maybe the, the algorithm of YouTube didn't push it far enough. I, I have no clue. Maybe it's too complex. I don't know what's going on. I thought the real truth about market making would be something of a very interest. But that's a problem, right? If you on YouTube make a video that's, um, oh, wait, so I'm not going to be rich in a week. This bot is not going to make me uh, 10,000 of money in, in, in a month. Damn, I need to do coding. That's crazy. And then they are out of here, right? But if you make a video that you're going to be rich in, in one week, then you have millions of views, right? That's the problem with YouTube. Um, I think Mark have the same issue. And I hate that. That's why I don't make these videos, because I don't want these people subscribe to my channel. If you have the attention span of a of a... What kind of animal has a low attention span? I have no clue. But if you have the attention span... Of a mosquito... Then you need to subscribe to, to, to Mr. Beast, right? I mean, if you want to see how people make millions by just holding their hand on a plane... <laughs> then you need to go to that channel. And uh, yeah, see you see later. <laughs> In VS Code, you can just hit Ctrl uh, for the windows to clear. I know, but listen. Look at this. It's cleared. Hop. Hop. You see that? I clear faster than you can blink your eyes. You know what I mean? So Ctrl, Ctrl, it doesn't matter. Where is my Ctrl Y? What is it? Ctrl Y. It's not working. Or is it L? I don't know. I just type clear. It's in my memory. I don't know what it is. Alright, so we do this round trip. I'm gonna copy the whole shebang. Actually, what I'm gonna do is... Um, 
preflop this thing. I'm gonna copy this. Actually, this one. Paste it in here. I'm gonna call this. Um, I'm gonna fold. They're gonna fold again, right? Goldfish. Yeah, the attention span of a goldfish. Exactly. But I don't. I think. I don't, Although mosquitoes, these guys, they are nasty. I'm not gonna lie. I remember I was attacked on stream by an invisible mosquito. It's crazy. And I didn't hear him coming. I didn't hear the bastard coming. I was legit attacked live on stream. And you can, I think I have a clip. I think I have a clip. I was just chilling. Just coding, you know. And suddenly, Boogie stabbed me. He stabbed me right in my head. And I didn't hear him coming because I have these headset up with no noise cancellation. And I couldn't find him. He was gone. I have a big ring light here, right? And I I think he just warped in that light and never came back. Look at this. We are at the turn. Amazing, man. I mean, we are making so much progress and we are not even coding today. It's crazy. It's crazy. We can do the whole, the whole thing. That's amazing. It's going to be the turn and then we're going to go to the river, right? All programmatically. Uh, make run. Would you say that's of the mark? Oh wait. Uh, don't let go, but uh, to make it feel closer to philosophy of Unix. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. Uh, go is fairly min minimalistic and it, it just writes like, like you should write C, the same, the same flow, exactly the same flow. Oh, we're at the river, look at this. And to be honest, Mar, if you know, I mean, if you know any other programming language, it doesn't matter, it can be JavaScript, it can be PHP, uh, it doesn't, C, it doesn't matter, Python, if you know these languages, Go is, is the same thing, it's so easy. Um, it's it's legit the same thing, but different. <laughs> no big of a deal. This is cool, man. We are at the river, which basically means. That we now need to do. Um, the complete complete game round trip, which we didn't do yet. So what's going to happen if we actually fold again? And why I'm folding, you may ask. That's because I just want to get through all these rounds and see um, if we can iterate to the next round and have a new dealer. And once we have that, we have the complete uh, flow ready. The complete round trip ready. And then... 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 Then we are very far. You know what I mean? Then we have... This, the, the the structure set up, the architecture set up, we can swap, we, 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 we know what to do, then we can make these minor adjustments, you know what I mean? First make it work, then make it better, and then you make it faster, you know what I mean? It's gonna be the rever, uh, like this. Of course, sometimes when I type clear, I miss it. I know, I know. And I'm spitting on my own. Spitting on my own mic. This is this is un, un, uh, unknown territory, right? So now we're gonna loop through all these faces. What the hell is going on here? Oof. Yeah, yeah, of course, this is gonna happen. We, uh, something is wrong, right? Because we didn't handle that case. Oh my god, look at him, he's coming back to life. This is crazy. Invalid game status, of course. Of course, there's an invalid game status because we, we, we have no. We need. Yes, nice. Siori fitly. Siori. 
Fityavana. Ani Krishna, did you plan to show us how to deploy this engine at the end of the series? Um, that's actually a good question where I have no honest answer for you. Because I could say, yes, we're gonna, we're gonna make the front end and we're gonna deploy it and we're gonna play together and, and it's gonna be so nice and it's all gonna happen at Christmas. But uh, that, that would be a lie, right? Because I know myself, that's very important. If you know yourself, you know what you can and you also know what you can't. And I'm using this basically because it's a good challenge and a, a very good education. Challenge for myself and a very uh, a nice opportunity for you to get educated in these complex stuff, complex matter. But are we really going to deploy this? Are we really going to play this? Are we really going to build a front end for this? I'm not sure. Because I would be very happy that we that I can actually say, guys, it's time for to stream something different, you know? But I, I first wanna make this engine complete. That's what I'm gonna promise. We're gonna make this engine complete, right? So, yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna make this engine complete, but to make it ready for deployment and everything, I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's a community project where everybody can make a front end and can help, that, that, that could be something. But streaming this, for the next one year and a half, that would be savage, right? That would be very savage. <laughs> Krishna. Yeah, it's it's a very special name. Um, Mark was a very special name. Yeah, Mark, exactly. Exactly, Mark. Uh, so many devs abandon projects and never show the result. That's true. That's true, that's true. And... I know myself and I'm actually also maybe tempting to drop the project, but I'm not gonna do it. Uh, I said it a challenge to myself. I, I basically announced this on stream that I was a decentralized poker god, that I'm gonna make it. And um, now I need to basically complete my own. Mission of Mercy, if, that, if you know what I mean. Otherwise, I'm, uh, what, what, what are people going to say? Eh? I need to walk the talk, right? Walk in the talk. All right, so how are we going to debug this? Let me open up game state here, because otherwise I will be coding in my own... Um... <laughs> Not too, that's why I need to support. Yeah, man. How is your streaming uh, thing going? I, 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 I was, I joined your channel and you were telling me that you were telling at that right, at that point I joined, you were telling that you were making this uh, Node.js streaming server where if you go offline, it will take over and everything. So you could, it was crazy. I, I also want to have something like that. So tell me more about it, man. Seems crazy. Um, advance to next round. I think we need to look here, right? Current dealer set, do we need to? Vader. Are we using this, by the way? If you are a dealer that just took an action, we can go to... Alright. Yeah, here we need to handle these actions because right now we don't handle, um, we handle fault, right? But we don't handle bet and we handle bets, but we don't, um, if you check, we assume that as a fault and, and, and we need to, that that's what we need to do next. But that's going to be another stream. Then I need to be on fire. That's going to be so complicated. So then I need to be at the, at my best. It does not mean that I'm not now at my best, but I mean, hey, I'm tired, right? I'm going to be honest, guys. Today, I did not feel to stream. I was tired mentally and physically. But I'm a man and nobody cares about my feelings. So I don't care about my feelings either. So I just do what I need to do and call it a day. You know what I mean? Tomorrow is going to be another day. It's going to be a better day. You know? It doesn't matter. 
The show, what do I always tell you? That the show must go on at all times. The show must go on. That's what you need to tell you. If you wake up in the morning and you don't feel like go to work, two things you need to do. One, you need to quit your job because that's not the right job for you. And two, you need to say that the show must go on. That's what you need to do. Just like Leonardo DiCaprio in the movie, right? I ain't fucking leaving. Okay, take action. Uh, this stuff is commented out. That's good. I'm gonna basically delete this because it's fine. We're gonna increment the next player. Also good. Then we're gonna advance to the next round. Now we need to catch basically... We need to catch... Maybe it's here. Uh, if game status is gonna be G... Uh, current status... No. Get. And it's gonna be game status. Uh, is it a river? Like this. So everybody is calling this advance to the next round, right? So we could say if 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 the game status. And this is weird. I know this game status G couldn't get. I know this is weird, but it's because it's an atomic value and we need to do that stuff. It is what it is. It's dirty. It smells. But sometimes it is what it is. Uh, is the game status river? Can we panic out or something? To see. I could remember something. I'm gonna comment this real quick. Uh, I could remember that we had some some switch statement uh, somewhere. Not here. Only valuable engineer can code if you're tired. Well, to be honest, that's that's a good thing. Um, it's difficult. I have a very low. Um, Coding attention span. I can only code for 3-4 hours maximum. Deep work, 3-4 hours. That's the max. Right? I'm be honest. I'm gonna be honest here. But really, really, really deep focus. Music on. Slack away. Discord away. Cell phone. Shh. Everything closed. Dark room. A small light. Coffee. 3-4 hours deep focus and that's it. Right? Then I go to the gym, and then I do low focus, right? Documentation, reading stuff, uh, answering DMs, some small issues here and there, right? The low, the low focus stuff. That's how you need to organize your day. And for everybody, that's different. For me, my high, deep focus work can be done in the morning just when I wake up. But for a lot of people... That's in the night, or maybe in the evening, or in afternoon, I don't know. You need to plan your day accordingly. And if you need to work for your boss eight hours a day, and you cannot um, organize your day like you, like you want, then you need to quit your job instantly, because that guy has no clue how engineering works. Right? You're a creative person, and you need to be creative at the moments you can be creative. right? But I think Mark is always creative, because he has creative things you know what i mean he, he does things that makes him creative
Man, where is a switch statement? And like I said, on stream, it's very hard to code sometimes because, um, haha, here, ne get next game status. This, is, this was the panic we got, which is already cleared. So pre-flop, flop, turn. Which we could do. What we could do is this, right? We could say... Case, game, status, river, right? We're going to say return, game, status, quickly do that, the thing there. Uh, game, status, uh, preflop. No, that's not true. Ready. Yeah, 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 ready, ready, because... Yes, I can see the end of the tunnel. It's going to be ready. Game status. Uh, game status. Player. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. That's going to be it. And then it's going to deal. But it's going to it's going to be back 3,000 that's going to deal. And if that's not... I, I'm happy with that. We can fix that. For me, it's 3 a.m. at Tokyo Session. I was loving it. Hacker mode. It is, man. Come on. Deal. We, we're watching a live poker game, by the way. Programmatically. Everybody's folding. <laughs> Look at this. It's, it's pretty nice, right? We have no issues, no, no, no errors. It's just... Maybe something is wrong, probably, but it's wor it's it's kind of working. It it seems that it's working. I don't know. Maybe I'm just joking you. I'm making I'm making this complex thing so you guys think it's working. <laughs> Everybody's ready. And now three thousand gonna deal again. Deal again. He's not dealing. He's not dealing. And the, the, the next player is... Uh, everything is correct, man. Just the current dealer is, is, is broken. Man, this is crazy. So, why is he not dealing? Oh, yeah. It's set player ready. Yes. Okay, I know why. I know why. I know why. Look at this. Look at this, guys. He's not dealing because... Uh, let's do maybe... Maybe deal. Here. Right, so we're telling, yeah, we can deal if the status is uh, player ready, that's fine. Problem is, we we trigger this maybe deal after 5 seconds if we are the dealer in set player ready. So, that's not getting triggered because we are setting... Actually, why, why do we need to... I think everybody needs to, to put themselves ready back again. Or maybe the game will automatically do it. Okay, send to place. I think I have the, I, I have the solution. Fold, 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 like I'm playing. Deal it on break. I like to write this in functional GS. Yeah, you should, because functional, to be honest, uh, when although it's a little bit harder, I think, to do, because the functional mindset is completely different, but functional for distributed systems is actually better because you don't have... Although JavaScript and state is... is uh, but the functional language, you cannot actually do... You cannot mutate state, right? You're copying state all the time. So you cannot directly mutate that. So it should be better for bugs. Like Erlang, LXZ, these languages are getting used a lot in these um, real-time, soft real-time applications, telecommunications, trading bots, Erlang. A very underrated language. Very underrated. I wrote I wrote LXZ at the company I worked for, Nash.io. Decentralized crypto exchange Nash.io 
and they have everything in LXZ. Uh, I feel my knee pop. Ooh. And I was writing LXZ and I don't like it. That's why I left. I was also writing Go there, but they were decided that everything in Go needs to be ported to uh, LXZ because they had a lot of LXZ devs, which was very, very hard to find. So they had them. And then they said, Oh, you're going to join the React, the React Native team. Or you join the, the core LXZ developers to work on the matching engine, which was nice, which I did. But I decided I was not happy. LXZ did not give me developer happiness. Very, very nice team. Very smart people. Very good time I had there. Insane. Insane people, man. Legit smart people. It was crazy. So grateful that I could, could join them for two years and travel the world. Europe. <laughs> Europe. Europe. Not the world. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is... Um, here, 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 here. This game. I'm going to say if the status is the river. Get next game status. Yes, yes, yes. So we're going to say if it's the river, we are going to say set... Uh, set ready just like my girl she's always ready and that's no lie and tomorrow we have our anniversary <laughs> we are one year together tomorrow guys I, I cannot forget that's why tomorrow is no stream because tomorrow I need to do other things you know what I mean uh, but I will read the video of course um, and guys listen very uncoupled things. If you're not subscribed yet to the channel, please consider subscribing and join the army of the high value software engineers where we come together to, ex abs ex bleh, to absorb all the information so you can raise your paycheck with an incredible amount and that's no lie. And if you want that I'm reviewing your Golang Live on stream, your Go code or Rust code, or but it can be actually any code, it doesn't matter, right? As long as it's not Cobalt or something. Um, DM me your GitHub link. Join into the Discord. And DM me your link. Then I will do some... I will review it. Give you positive feedback. And I will also... Refactor it if needed. Right? Yes. Ice bear. Have a nice day, man. Have a nice sleep, by the way. <laughs> Have a nice night. Yeah, yeah, uh, Casey, I'm going to continue the MM series. Listen, I'm going to continue it. Um, but uh, yeah, 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 I promised, I promised. And I, I pinky sweared it in my community. And if I pinky swear, I need to do it. But uh, yeah. So on the YouTube channel, I'm going to continue the market making series. But on the Patreon channel, I'm going to do the arbitrage trading infrastructure. Right. So I'm going to build that. We're going to aggregate order books there and uh, we're going to spot opportunities and that's that. But it's very important that the people have a first a good understanding how these engines work. That's why we made a trading engine. We made a, a crypto exchange on top of that trading engine that actually traded Ethereum's, real Ethereum's, and that's no lie. It's, it's a real exchange. You can just deploy it and it will work. Then we need to educate the people how, to, how these market making algorithms work. Simple, simple ones, of course. And then... On the Patreon stuff because I cannot do everything for free. That would be that would be stupid, right? I do my stuff is already very very valuable. Basically, my whole YouTube is worth more than the whole Udemy. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Um, so Patreon is even better. Listen, it's even better. I can do some marketing, right? I can do some marketing, but I will continue. Yes, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm getting off track, right? Um, game state, game status, G study, what do we need to do here? Nothing, go on, just call it. This is gonna work. Maybe. Can I basically make it faster, to be honest, because... Where is this time sleep?
Well, five seconds. It's fine. It's fine. Because the problem is if you're not going to sleep in, in between and all that stuff, it's going to be nasty, right? Because otherwise it will run as fast as the computer can, as the CPU can, and that's not the real environment, right? It's not going to work. Then, then we're going to have bad news. <clears throat> Uh, have you ever tried off twirp? It generates a server client for you from a proto of a file. That's nice. Then you just implement the interfaces that gets... It's basically the same thing as gRPC then. gRPC does the same thing, right? It generates... Based on a proto of a file, it generates your um, client and server. Uh, I, I tried that. I used that in production also, and um, I'm going to use gRPC and proto buffers in uh, the next blockchain series I'm going to create. Which will have the UTXO model instead of the. No! That's the thing. Why, why is he complaining about invalid game status? I mean. No, no, yes. Clear the highlights, yes. Very similar, but it lets you use HTTP. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ayush, yeah, Duff, thanks, man. Thanks for the soup. Much appreciated, man. It can generate a file uh, you can load directly into your postman. Nice, nice. HTTP 1, yeah, but why would you use HTTP 1? I don't know. Is, 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 is HTTP 1 still a thing? Is HTTP 2 a thing? <laughs> I actually don't, don't know, to be honest. Man, can you see it? It seems that you know your shit, man. I'm not gonna lie. It seems you know. It seems you are a high value engineer. So you're actually at the right place. Welcome. It seems you know your stuff. Um, and everything is an HTTP post, so you don't need a translation layer on top of gRPC, which lets you call it from a browser or whatever. That's crazy. Twerp. Never used. I never heard of it. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up, I promise. Uh, maybe in the last, uh, you know, the last couple, 20 minutes or something of the stream, we do some, I don't know. We do nothing because my brain is completely depleted and I cannot focus anymore. So then we do some uh, Q&A and, and, and some whatever, shit talking or so. Maybe we can have some beef with someone. But we're gonna check out Twerp. Twerp. So we get this thing. We get this invalid game status because it's not... What, what is it then? What is it then? That's a good question. So we're gonna say FMT uh, print F. Actually, does it matter uh, that we do this for both? Actually, it doesn't matter. It should be just uh, an int, right? Uh, what is it going to be? Man, why, why do we do this? I'm going to say status is going to be this thing. Uh, here. No, here. Yeah. I'm going to say switch the status. Yeah. Like this. And then we can say delete till this bracket and say status, right? Uh, invalid status like this, right? Make it, make it clean. All right, let's see what's going on. It's a little bit of debugging, I know. Uh, that's very important to know that the first the first um, period in your new project, you're going to write a lot of things, right? It's going to be cool, and you're going to write, 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 and you're going to feel like a hacker and like a like a very productive animal. But once your project, project comes into a different stage, which is the stage you are... Yeah, it's getting complicated. You come into issues. Uh, you need to read and debug a lot of stuff. Then it's going to get a little bit slower. But that's what basically separates the elite from 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 the rest. Because a lot of people quit at this stage. Why they don't get the experience they need to 
get through this stage, which they keep in the writing stage. So no. Player ready. Why is this an invalid status? Why is this? And why do we already have this? Oh yeah, I see. I'm legit. I'm legit garbage. Look at this. It's um I'm gonna I'm gonna it's it's moving time. I'm gonna move this function. Yoink. I'm gonna grab this guy. And we're gonna put it. Advanced, we're gonna put it here, at top here, because for some reason these guys are very, um, they have a connection with each other, they are in love. But they have a hate, they, they, they have a hate-love relationship, you know? But, hey. So what we do, we basically do this, right? We set this guy ready, which basically means he's gonna have this, the ready status, and then we're gonna check here, uh, get next game status, and then we're gonna, and now we are so, huh? huh? It's our own fault. The question is, do we need to... Wait, because the problem is that we... Um, I'm gonna open up another game state here. Two game states. I'm gonna open up set ready. Set ready, right? So... Yeah, 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 he set status. So we set status here, and then we set status here. Which is what we cannot do. So, what we could do is... Um, these two things... These can always happen, right? We clear the receive player actions and we set the current player action to none. Because uh, you have the game status is basically the game status is for example uh preflop flop turn river, you know, ready. But then a player action is for example fault check bet. Right? So we can actually um for every every time we advance to the next round, we can say clear the player actions, which is a map that tracks all the player actions, right? And then we have the current player action set, which is fine, because we're going to set it to action none, because it's a new round. So if it's a new round, we did nothing, right? So we're going to say none. Then we have this game status. Um, this one, this good dealer, I don't know what's going on with this dealer. Actually, yeah, we need to do some deal dealing logic probably here also to check the next dealer. So... If it's the last round, if it's the last phase of that particular round. Ah, oh, it's from Twitch. I see, I see, I see. Is that what they use? Because I know Twitch is using a lot of Golang. Twitch is using a lot of Golang. Twerp. Ah, Twerp. Twitch. Twitch Twerp. Tw twerp. From Twitch. Tw we set ready here, right? And what we could do basically here now, it's very simple, you could actually return. Unless... Yeah, you could just return, right? It doesn't matter. We return here. Call it a day. And this guy needs to be called here. Is that true? Not quite sure. We will see. Sometimes you need to trust and dive in. Dive, in, dive from the cliff. And then you need to train your lats. So you can spread your wings. And float like a squirrel. You know these squirrels? Like they can... Yeah, that's what you need to do. Yeah, okay, cool. We're dealing. That's fine. Let's see what's going on.
turn and now the river but how many message is this this is crazy the river Okay, ready? He's dealing again! Pre-flop. What's going on? It feels like a little bit... It feels the game is in, in the wrong state. I can feel it. You, you can feel... You can see that it's going a little bit slow, right? You can see... Maybe you guys don't see it, but I see it because I, I, I saw this, this make, I typed make run more than, it's crazy. Something is wrong, but A. <laughs> Sorry. My ears are itching, man. Okay, so... Yeah, this this match is pretty normal because um, everybody gets. Why do we lock this two times out? Oh, that's just. Received player action. Where is? Is it in a uh, server then? Yeah, I see, okay, okay, okay. We don't care here, right? Amir, what is up? I lost internet connection. Oh man, Amir. I was missing you. What is Amir? I was specially streaming for you because I knew you were a little bit sad that I was telling you that I'm gonna stream a little bit less and you were crying, I know. And I said, I'm going to stream specially for Amir. Because we need to fix back. And Amir, look at this, what we are doing. We have the complete round trip. Amir, where were you? God damn it, Amir! Where were you? We do the complete round trip. And you were not there. Oh, to, uh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Hey. So we can do the complete round trip from pre flop, 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 pre flop, flop, river, turn, turn, river, whatever, and then we go back. But uh, of course, of course, hey. Um, why are we dealing two times here? I don't know. And you see, now it's halting. Now it's halting because. The swap from round one to round two is not going uh, in our favor. But hey, I'm so happy that I actually... What's going on in VS Code? Can you please quit this thing? Yes. I think my playlist is also uh, done. So let me quickly... Um, what are we going to do? Another playlist or are we going to just repeat it? I could be lazy and just repeat it, but we're going we're gonna to check something else. Uh, Andy, I'm library. Wait, I can go back, right? I can't go back. What's going on? Please. Yeah, ding, 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 ling, ling, ding. No, no, that, that's not what we're going to do. We're going to... The World Cup? <laughs> I'm not, not sure about that. Inspired FIFA. I think this this one. I, I like this one, I think. 80s fever. You know, I'm an 80s kid. Eight, 86... Which basically means I'm all, it's almost my birthday. Don't forget, guys, don't forget. It's almost my birthday. What's going on? I cannot hear it because... Not quite sure if you guys can hear the music, by the way. I hope so, otherwise this was very awkward. A very awkward moment. 
If you're, if you're, if you're thinking, what is this guy doing with this here? I have this headset, which is controllable with movement. You know the. It's the Sony. Way X. Four, I guess. Four. All right. What are we doing here? Okay, cool. I'm here, man. I'm here. Yeah, it's good. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. We missed you. We missed you, my man. Okay, cool. Um, so what is going on? Basically, we have this advanced next round, right? Advance this one. That's fine. Anchor and XP, that's perfectly fine. Let me checking if the dealer if the dealer just took an action. If you are the dealer, no, no, no. Anyway, no, no, no. I can go to the next round, which is good. Hmm. Um, I'm a little bit confused. So what what can be the issue? Wait. First of all, I'm gonna I'm gonna strip out the messages once again, right? We're gonna make run and gonna see to clean it a little bit up because um, this is fine. All these handshakes. That's good. That's good. So we're dealing. That's fine. Receive player action. We can we can debug this later on. This is our loop. This is our loop player action. Loop perfectly fine. Everything. Look at this. This is harmony. This is equilibrium. This is pure peace. This is this is art. Look at this what is happening. This is art. This is not art. Look at this. This is already this 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 sounds this stinky. This is a stinky action. Wait, I'm gonna stop it here to be honest. Oh, a lot of stinky actions to be honest. What is what's going on? So, tree here, tree here, and tree here. That's fine, right? Fine, fine, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, I see. So we basically three, four, and then five, seven, three. Yeah, okay, I see. It's not stinky. It's just yeah. Like I said, it's it's decentralized. It's asynchronous, so the logging can be can be off, right? It it's this is not a centralized thing, so you cannot expect that everything is going to be on the screen like you intended. Although although I would like three, two. What is going on here? Why is this? Why is this zero? One, two. I'm really confused, but hey, it is what it is. C4 Sadder, what's up, man? Theory, what do you think about Java for building quant trading engines? Um. Uh, Java, it's fine, but I mean, Java. Why would you use Java? Uh, the only reason why you why you would use Java is um, if if you already know Java very well and it's one of your best best languages, and uh, you have a lot of I don't know experience with Java. Then I would do Java, but besides that, I won't do it to be honest because I don't like Java. GVM is bad news. The only thing is the only the only good thing that Java. Made in this world is Minecraft. You know what I mean? That's the only good thing. No, Java was an amazing language um, and it still is. Just like every other language. There is no bad language, right? It's just personal preference. And every language does a, does a, does a certain job very good. 
and um, it's up to you to decide what you want to write. It doesn't matter. A programmer is an engineer, is a hacker, is a builder. And uh, we don't care about us programming language. We don't care. We write everything. Except Ruby. I'm sorry. I wrote Ruby. I wrote Ruby. On the rails. Oh my life man. I'm making I'm making um I'm currently writing the handbook or the blueprint of the high value software engineer, which I'm gonna give away free. It's not not, not a real book, but it's like everything I learned in my life because I did a lot of things wrongs. Wrongs, wrong. I swear to god, I made the most mistakes. I'm 36. I'm turning 36, which is very young, but still I made so much mistakes, it's crazy. Oh man, man, man. My life is a roller coaster, not gonna lie. Um, and I'm gonna teach, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna write them all out. But it worked for me, which does not mean it worked for you, but you can absorb what you want from it, right? The way you say Java cracks me up. Java. Java, how do you say it then? Java. Java. The JVM. But uh, Ruby, like I said, people are laughing about Ruby on Rails, but I, to, I swear to God, it's fast, man. You can boom, 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 and you have the, you have the complete shenanigans, and everything is magic. You know what I mean? It's black magic. It's legit black magic. Ruby, it's, it's crazy. You can call, you can do everything. It's 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 insane, but it's very dangerous. But it's it's very nice for startups. But I think now next next is the next big thing, right? Next JS is insane. Trust me, guys. Next JS is my whole company runs on Next JS. Everything, just some uh, some some trading engine shenanigans we have in Golang. That's it. All the rest is next GS. It's it's so big that I really want to kill myself when I'm in that project. It's crazy. Next GS, man. And I wrote it myself, but now uh, other people are working on it. But I did the beginning. I remember. Python is also black magic. <laughs> All these languages are like, but it is these, 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 these. It's black magic, but hey, they are nice, right? Sometimes it feels good to write Ruby. Sometimes it feels good to write Python. You know, when you come from Go or or, or Rust, and you can and you can write JavaScript for a day, or you can write Ruby or Python. It feels good, right? It's like, oh, hey, it works. It, you can do everything you want. Look at this. You can call. You can call a function from another project. <laughs> From another, yeah, it's crazy. But it feels good sometimes, right? But if you make big complex programs, these languages will shoot you in the foot because they are very hard to debug. <laughs> Ruby is a new COBOL. <laughs> man, these languages, man. Like I said, tech, tech is, is turning into a scam, man. It's crazy. All these languages, Zeek, and then you have... What did we do in the in, in the streams? Uh, Vizel with the Vizel view, no, um, Vlang <laughs> with the Vizel. Remember that? Uh, to be honest, I like this language a lot. That's what that made a lot of sense. And then Jonathan Blow is making his own language, the Jlang, and it's crazy, man. J. It's insane. I'm getting tired. And to be honest, we did a lot of things. I'm gonna lie. Uh, what's going on? Fuck, I thought I, I closed the stream accidentally. Uh, we did a lot of things. Let's make run real quick just for the sake of and see what's going on. And then we can talk a little bit and I'm gonna call it a day probably. And I'll be back Wednesday. And uh, Or I'm gonna... You, can, you guys can choose basically. You can, or we do the same thing. We do some decentralized poker. Or I'm going to solve uh, a Golang interviewing question. Right, there is there is a guy uh, from the community that basically had an assessment and he tried to solve it in Golang and he they weren't happy with it. So that's what I, what we it's it's basically a caching thing with caching. 
And although I, th I think he did a good job, um, his, his style was good, his folder was good, but he made a little bit of mistakes here and there, and maybe he made it a little bit too complex. And that could be a good, um, a good stream where we're going to implement and solve the solution. What do you think? And maybe some other code reviews and refactors. What's happening? We're already we're we're already at the next round. Yeah, but this is working fine, right? You see, we basically do complete round trip. And then we deal again. Of course we didn't increment the dealer, I know, I know, but that doesn't matter. Uh we we should actually keep going forever, right? But the thing is Oh yeah, it's actually working. Of course they're not going because we stopped sending messages. Of course, because, hey, of course. Uh, look at this, because our main, right? We, 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 we do this whole trip, you know what I mean? You see? <laughs> look at this, look at this function. So we set everybody ready, then everybody folds. Flop, everybody folds. Turn, everybody folds. River, everybody folds, call it a day. And what happens? We are back in pre-flop. Hey, this is insane. Who is doing this stuff? What's going on? Poker star should hire me. Decentralized poker. I'm going to do it one more time because I think there are some little bugs here and there. I swear. I think there are little bugs. What company are you working in? I have my own company. I work at the uh, Anthony GG Industry NV. This is my, I will show. I'm uh, basically as an uh, entrepreneur. What's going on? I will make some marketing, right? This is my company. And we have, uh, what we do is basically we, we have an, Marketplace where people with, with SaaS companies, SaaS companies, people with recurring revenue can trade their recurring revenue into upfront cash. And we reroute the monthly, uh, so basically the, the customers that pay with Stripe, uh, which basically the, the monthly, how do you say it, subscriptions, we reroute these subscriptions to the investor. And the investor pays them upfront and they get, uh, of course, with a, with, a, with a discount, they get actually not with a discount, with an interest actually, they get the monthly subscriptions back with a little bit of interest. That's what we do. Yes, it's crazy. I know. And then of course, um, what do I have still? I also have my Patreon page. Look at this. Decentralized forever storage, episode 7, 8, 9, 10. Distributed file server. Boom. Boom. Look at this. Only available on Patreon. Only available on Patreon. Listen, I can, I can swear one thing. What I'm doing here, this decentralized storage, nobody in the whole world. I'm legit the only one. I swear to God. Actually, I am the only person in the whole world that teaches this thing. The only one. There is nobody. I swear. I can I can bet so much money on it. There is, and if you find somebody, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't matter. What's going on here? But nobody is doing this. Legit. What's going on? Where is my code? Here. You see, we have, we have a little issue, right? Because you can see the max, the next player turn is a is, um, little bit fucked up here. You see? So we need to... What's going on? I basically also do the file encryption, right? So we, we, we send files over the network, distribute it, encrypt it. And instead of encrypting it into memory, we, we encrypt it over a stream and everything. And we, 
Ah, uh, oh baby, it's crazy. I'm gonna, I swear. If you know what I'm teaching there, <laughs> I'm gonna, man, what the hell? GG Academy, I, it, it's true. It's true. Uh, you know me. You know me. Look my, look, look my YouTube channel. I'm, 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 I'm not scamming people. I'm not selling stuff. I'm, of course, I sell stuff, but I mean, you see my YouTube channel. But what, what do you think I'm gonna do my Patreon? Selling pictures? Of course not. We're gonna do the next level. You know what I mean? Man, this feels like sex music, man. Decentralized mm -hmm. <laughs> witchcraft. <laughs> Blazingly faster. This that's classic, man. If somebody would, would, would basically whisper that word in my ear, then I would say, man, that this is coming from blazingly faster. Only his, it's, it's his parlance. Decentralized witchcraft. <laughs> uh, what I was doing. Yeah, I want to make it to do, actually. Um... Uh, when we are in the... What's going on here? In the next round. Man, I cannot even type anymore. The next player... It's, ti it's time to do some shit talking. Uh, the next player... Um, inconsistent. It's time to stop. I can feel it. When we are in the next round... All right. Uh, round trip. All right. Are there any questions? What What, what are we gonna talk about for uh, a couple minutes? Twenty minutes, maybe. What do you want to know? Get position and master. Slack coin, yeah, I know, but uh, yeah. But the thing is, the, 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 why I'm doing these things is because it will teach you a lot of a lot of different um, a different aspect, right? It's not that I'm trying to create the new blockchain, the new Bitcoin, the new Ethereum, the new Filecoin or whatever. It's just like, it's important. These these concepts, these protocols, these um, programs, they teach you a lot, right? It's, it's We make our own peer-to-peer -peer -peer lib there, um, teaching you about connections, um, about reading files, writing files, writing files, not in memory, because if you have 8, 9, 10, 20, 50 gigs of, 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 of files, you cannot even store that in your RAM. You know what I mean? Your computer will blow up. So how do we do that? So we do copy, IO copy. I'm teaching you how to stream files, um, distribute the files, encrypt the files. Of course, if you encrypt the same thing, then you're going to encrypt it into memory, which then we're going to encrypt as a stream over the network and all that stuff. It's nice. It's cool. It's just all these things is for, for educational purposes and not for um, to replace the friend. I'm basically teaching you guys to do that so you can make the next big thing. You know what I mean? Or raise your paycheck with an incredible amount and finally earn your 200k a month. A year. <laughs> not a month. A year. That's what you're aiming for. That's that's 200k a year, is, that's basically the end point. It's not the end point, it's your goal. Right? You can earn more, but that's these, these companies like Twitter and all that. And that's not, that's not fun to work. I think maybe this, maybe this. I don't know. Uh, hi, Anthony. Wait, Amir, Amir. Uh, or do you use gRPC not for the distributed, not for the distributed file storage, uh, but a gRPC? I'm going to use gRPC and proto buffers in the next blockchain series, which also going to be exclusive for Patreons, where we're gonna, I'm going to do the complete new 
remake the complete series because I already have one free on YouTube, but we're gonna, I'm gonna do a new one where I'm gonna elaborate more in depth and we're gonna use the UTXO model and we're going to use gRPC and protobuffers or twerp. Protobuffers and twerp, I don't know, I need to see. Krell B, Anthony. Hi, Anthony. What is the difference between Rust and Golang for blockchain? Um, not that much. Rust is perfectly fine. Rust is perfectly fine, but the problem is Rust is it's it's a little it's harder. It's going to be harder than Rust because it's a little bit. Rust is a bigger language. It's a bigger idea of a language. It's a much complexer language. People write it also very complex. It's basically too complex. But it. It's a good language, but it's a complex language. And it's very hard to... It's, it does not handle concurrency very well. But for cryptographical stuff, Rust is pretty good. Especially... Um, yeah. But not for... For all that distributed stuff, which basically a blockchain is, right? It's just a distributed database. Nothing more than that. And most of the time, your blockchain will not be bottlenecked by a programming language, right? So people say, yeah, I'm writing it in Rust or in C++ because then it's going to blazingly fast. But that's not true because you're bottlenecked. <laughs> what the fuck, guys? What do you think? That a Rust blockchain is going to be faster than, than a blockchain in, 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 other, in any other language? That makes no sense, right? Because your language can be super fast, but you're bottlenecked. You know what I mean? You're bottlenecked by HTTP round trips. You're bottlenecked by uh, hash verifications. You're bottlenecked by peer-to-peer -peer communication overhead. You're bottlenecked by the file system. You're just bottlenecked. Doesn't matter. One mistake can make your application slower, right? One, one memory leak can make your application slower. Then you can even write it in, 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 in Lua faster than in Go, for example, or in... People, on, people make that mistake. Right? They think, oh, programming language needs to be fast. That's true. It needs to be fast if what you're doing needs to be fast. For example, if you want to have a Vim, a Vim editor, right? And you want to parse files. Your, your syntax highlighting, that needs to be blazingly fucking fast. I'm not going to write that in, in, in Ruby. I'm not going to write that in, uh, in Go. I'm also not going to write it in, in whatever fucking language. I'm going to write that in C++, in C, or in, or in Rust, for example, right? It needs to be... God damn it, that needs to be fucking fast. I don't want to wait until my, 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 my file is colored, right? But everything in the cloud, everything on the internet running on a server is bottlenecked by HTTP round trips. You know what I mean? Tag that. Oh my god, tag that is huge. Uh, to, uh, to be honest, guys, I swear to God, if, if, if you're a startup or a company you're using Rust, man, that's not a good decision. Tagdap is too hard, that's true. Although, listen, the idea is not bad of Rust, right? So the idea of the language, it's basically like, yo, uh, yo, you cannot drive your bike, right? It's basically telling your kids like, okay, cool, I don't trust you, right? Hello, son, I'm your father, and I think you're a nonsense, and I don't trust you. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put side wheels on your bike forever. <laughs> huh? You know what I mean? Side wheels on your bike forever. You know what I mean? For the rest of your life, you're gonna drive your bike with side wheels. So when that guy does his side wheels of the bike, then he's gonna break his nose. That's the same with Rust, right? They're basically helping programmers making better, better decisions with with you cannot with with, with the complete uh, type checking. Why? That's the thing. That's what I think about it. And it's too big. All these functions and all that stuff and unwrap and uh, uh. it's too much. It's too much. Although I like sometimes I like to write it, but it's not that I'm going to use that for um, to make something in a prediction unless it's needed. If I maybe I'm going to write an own language just just for for the sake of doing I, I did it before like these small toy languages that you never actually can just do couple things because you quit quit making them but I think it's pretty fun to do and I think a lot of people already did it uh, in their spare time just try to make like a language parser and 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 an abstract syntax tree and then compile it um 
to see and then execute that you know what i mean it's fun right then i would do it in rust for sure that's true that's true that's true that's true it's a complete other mindset that's that's true because you have pattern matching and that's that's fine domain driven design ddd yeah i heard that And I bet, guys, it doesn't really matter, right? If it's a language, good or bad. If you make money, it's good. You know what I mean? If you're happy, you make money. And you want to wake up every day to, to write your programs. And you don't want to kill your colleagues, then it's good. Then it doesn't matter. Whatever language it is. You know what I mean? It does not matter at all. It does not matter at all what's going on on Twitter. Man, this 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 light man is shining my eyes crazy. Actually, I'm happy with um holy shit, this is crazy. All right, all right. No, I, I think I, I made a good progress, right? I thought this this was was going to be a nightmare, but it isn't. It was actually uh, it was a dream. It was a sweet dream. It was a vivid dream. It was a fucking vivid dream. So that's good. Um, of course, there are some bugs here and there. We're gonna fix that. That's no show. no big of a deal. It's gonna be the previous episodes. Chink Spiegel, love your vids, big man. I have a feeling the channel's gonna pop off like crazy in the near future. I hope. I hope, man. Um, I really hope. Amir. Bye, man. Good night. Have fun in League of Legends, man. Hey, but be careful. Don't feed the team. Don't feed the team, man. Just focus. Focus on CS. You know what I mean? And I swear to God, we're gonna play. I'm gonna play League of Legends. I'm gonna play League of Legends in Christmas. I promise this to the community. When it's Christmas holidays, I'm gonna play League of Legends, and you can join me, and my team, and we're gonna play against each other. I'm gonna live stream the whole shebang, and we're gonna clap some fucking cheeks. That's what we're gonna do. And you can choose whatever lane I'm gonna play, because I'm in each lane super trash. <laughs> so it doesn't matter <laughs> where I play, right? It doesn't really matter. Uh, what do I play if I'm gonna play? I don't know. Maybe some Zetmit or something, you know, or Yasuo. You know, I'm the mechanical player, you know. You know, I'm the player that goes 21 or goes 120. You know what I mean? My life is binary. You know what I mean? It's either black or fucking white. That's the same in my games. If I play League of Legends, I'm either 21-0 or 0-21. That's the thing. <laughs> That's who I am. You know what I mean? Because... If it goes good, I steamroll the game because I know I need to take advantage. And pop, pop, I'm clapping every fucking cheek that is. I'm never on my lane. I'm, I'm, I'm going. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm sniffing. I'm sniffing kills and I, I take them. But sometimes my confidence, I got killed. I got ganked. You know, ah shit, got ganked. I'm behind. You know, and if you're behind us, yes, it's hard to come back because you need your your, your fucking infinity edge and your crit chance. And I give up. You know what I mean? And I can never come back. And then my feet is my team is basically uh, yelling at me. Ah, you are so la la la, you know. But they don't know who I am. They make a big mistake. <laughs> they made the biggest mistake of their life, right? They make a big mistake because it's me, their favorite YouTuber, <laughs> and they have no clue. Can you imagine that? God damn it! I'm not even a gamer, you know. These guys playing these games 24/7. I play one time in a week, and I'm still better than everyone. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, are there any more questions? I'm gonna call it a day, taking 20 grams of protein and I'll uh, preparing some videos for tomorrow and... The day after tomorrow, I will be back. Alright? If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel, jump into the discords, um, so you can actually be a part of the community, of the club of the high value engineers and you can guide me in what content to make because i make this for you so you decide right i'm not a professional programmer but your videos are full of energy i know man it's because i have a little yeah i don't know 
people always it's all my whole life people don't tell me that i have a lot of energy that's because my brain is very wild it's everywhere you know what i mean it's everywhere and is it a good thing to have i don't know maybe it's a good thing at some points but at some points it's a very bad thing because sometimes i'm too busy uh i mean i'm too hdad for the people around me they think i'm too in their face you know but hey you cannot have it all man you cannot have it all you cannot have it all anyway guys thanks for watching and uh, have a nice uh, sunday you know take some rest because this week is going to be insane this is your week if you have troubles if you have worries it doesn't matter because the next week it's going to be insane. And I can tell you that 2023 is, it, is the fucking year where it's going to happen. I swear. I promised it to myself. And you're going to promise it to yourself. We're going to take over. And you're going to take over. That's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. Just a small question from Krill B. Once again, will you do something with exchanges like crypto exchanges? This is how I ended up here. Um, yeah. Like I mentioned before, I'm going to do the market making series. I'm going to finish them free on YouTube. And then I have my, um, I'm going to do the, arbit the arbitrage infrastructure stuff on, on Patreon. Because there's a lot of free value on YouTube, which I'm going to keep providing. I'm going to do that. But the top of the bill is going to be on Patreon, right? Because I'm a businessman myself. And I'm, all, I'm all, all, also giving actually a little bit too much away for free, but that's that's okay, I'm gonna do that. But the top of the tier, the tip of the top of the eye of the of the of the mountain is gonna be on Patreon. You know what I mean? Alright boys and girls, thanks for watching. Have a nice Sunday evening and uh let me find a way to close the stream. Aha. And I see you in the next one. Peace.